All right, folks, I'm going to be doing a brake job here on the front brakes, and then I'll do a rear brake here later. But we'll do one video on each one. But this is a Nissan Murano. And it got, I don't know, it's got like a 3.5 in it. And it's, uh, what kind is it? It's an SV Nissan Murano 2020 model year. And it's got that, I, I like to call it the jack off, but jackoed CVT transmission. So, yeah, no hope for it. But anyway, it does need some new brake pads. And uh, I guess all I'm going to be tasked with doing is doing a pad slap on it because it is what it is. It's all the owner wants done. So we're just going to do a pad slap. So stand by and watch how to do a pad slap on a Nissan Murano 2020 SV. All right, we're going to start with the uh, caliper itself. And that's a 17 millimeter that we're going to put on there. And this one was conveniently loosened by the owner for me so we'll leave that one there but we'll go down and get the other one loosened ouch that off of there we'll have to take these uh, pistons and push them back in but he's got that on there so we got to get this caliper bracket off and then we can check these uh, pads and get these uh, shims and everything cleaned up and see what we got let's see if we can't get this off of here what his brake pads look like uh, they're fairly thin depends what the original are supposed to look like it's got some sort of stuff clamped into them they look dry there's absolutely no grease on these things so anyway let's go ahead and see what we got as far as uh, hardware to go with this and then get these pads back on here Looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, let's go uh, clean and grease and put some new pads on. All right, folks, got the clip in here. And this little clip right here has to be bent in and slides against the uh, end of the tab. It goes inside against the uh, plates here that you have. This one goes on the outside, so it's like an outside spring. Once you get this one bent up enough, you can slide it in, and it fits nice and snug, and it, and it ears in, and it lines up nice and easy with the uh, pads. So, yeah, you got to manipulate this. It might be out too far, so you got to push it in, and then it'll slide, because that ear is right there. And there's just enough space if you slide that down it'll slide right in there with the ear this one will remain outside because it's like a spring so pretty simple once you figure it out and then uh, you can get them slid in there got them all greased up gonna go ahead and tighten up the bolts I'm gonna compress the uh, pistons in and uh, we'll be done with this uh, pad slap job on this uh, Nissan Murano Now let's compress this uh, pistons in and then we'll put it back on. Okay, got that all figured out. I 
There we go. Looks like they'll slide right over there pretty good. So, get the bolts in there, seated and started. I think we will. There we go. There. Nice and tight. Good and snug. That is your brake job, folks, for a Nissan Murano. Pretty quick. We didn't replace the rotors, but that's self-explanatory. You just pull that off, put a new one on. But uh, yeah, getting this tab in here was the hardest part for me. It's the first time I ever did a brake job for a Nissan Murano, so I had to play it by ear. I didn't quite pay attention to how it pulled apart, but got it. Got it figured out, a little blood, sweat, and tears. We're all good. So, this is uh, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go and move on to the back one, get the back one done. Um, then I'll probably take a vacation while I'm waiting for the owner of this vehicle to even try to get the first brake job done on the front. I may grow old and die before he does. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. But I got his job done here for him on this side. So I'll start the back end and I'll put the tire on this one and or have him put the tire on. I ain't gonna touch it. I'm gonna let him deal with it. So anyway, that's how we got it done on this Nissan Murano, folks. Pretty simple. Once you figure out these complex brake clips and everything, everything's moving good. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and uh get working on this uh, rear brakes on this Nissan Murano because I'm sure it needs to be replaced according to the owner who I don't know what he's doing but we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't get this one taken care of again this is just gonna be a pad slap and that sucker ain't gonna work there because this toe link is in the way, so I'll have to get me a wrench to release that one. Well, I'll get this easy red on here and hopefully make short work of this. There we go. Sometimes you just got to break out the hand tools. See if we can get it off with our fingers. There we go. Again, these aren't, I don't know if these are pins or bolts or what they are. But it won't come all the way out because this toe link is in the way. And these are caliper pins here on the rear, folks. There we go. So we're gonna have to do a little grease some ups here. Hopefully we can get this sucker out of here. Yeehaw! Here's something to worry about. Okay, you cannot get this off of here. You cannot get this pin out without removing the caliper bracket. Isn't that sweet? Of course, we could just take these little baby pads and just swap them out and leave this hanging and put it back, which is essentially a pad slap. So, yeah, we could do that. We got these pads right here. They're pretty well worn out, as you can see. 
Yeah, buddy. That thing shot. And they just sort of pop out. So that's how they go in. And this one goes on the back, that little clip. So do we want to take these out or reuse them and just grease them? I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go the easy route. We're just going to put a dab of grease in here and here. And we're just going to pad slap this thing and then slide her back up. I'll put a little bit of grease on that. Regrease the other top pin here and we'll be done. This will be easy. Press the caliper piston in and call it a day. All right. We're going to dab a little bit of grease up on that right here we're not going to go crazy on this just a little bit do the same thing on the in, in, inside area and then on the top There we go. Once we get this done. Yeah. All right. So this is going to be pretty simple. We just take this and we slide it. That's all you got to do. Slides right in. And then this one's the same way. Take it in. Slide it in. There you go. Caliper or pads are replaced. We didn't replace the hardware. Put a little grease on them. It's not too rusty. So we're just going to do this to get it done. I will put a little bit of grease on this pin here. So when I slide it back in, it has a little bit of grease to go in with it. And this caliper pin will have some more grease on it keep it going so we can then slide this back whoops I gotta push this in yet sorry just dab that right there let me go get the the I gotta get the channel locks and push that pit, pat, uh, piston back in let me get this other pin in there get that one in Here we go. What? And we get this. I just use the hand tool. Not a big deal. I forget. You didn't pay attention? <laughs> you didn't pay attention what you're doing? I got this uh, one almost done. Should pay attention when you took the pad off. But it goes outer. And it was on the inside. The, the sound bar was on the uh, inside pad. Facing out. Sound bar. Yeah, that little clip that sticks out. Yeah. It's on the inside pad. Anyway, folks, that's it. That's all there is to it. We're not going to do a Blake Bre break bleed or anything else uh, this is just a quick pad slap on this thing and and that's all there is to it back brakes are really simple if you're just doing a pad slap so uh, that's where we're at uh, not the rotor is not too there's not much of a lip on the rotor so you won't even need to service that but overall I'm gonna say we are done we just gotta put the tire back on and I'll put a little fluid film on here on this uh, rotor right here so that we don't have any rust bonding on that but we're good to go for now brand new pads all right a little bit of fluid film never hurt anything anyway uh, we're going to go ahead and put the back tire on here and uh, then we just got to have that one tire balanced because it was on the back and we missed it so but the other tires have been mounted balanced uh, it's going to have the larger tires on the back from my, my Ford Edge. 
so they're a little bit bigger than the normal tires that are on this Nissan but hey they were free and they have more tread than what was on there before so yeah that's where we're at right now anyway let's go ahead and uh you guys have a great day my feet at the floor today i'm having a great day i want you to have a great day too remember join mac t ford edge on mewe and also subscribe to this channel and uh mercy girl has a lot of one-liners for you along with band of one playing some great music it's like we got a little bit of flooding going on thank you for watching mac t's videos and remember to like and subscribe yeah buddy this is a Mercy Go production. See if I can get the rest of the way where I gotta go.